About two years ago, I released a video called Hero, which I will link below. It is the last video I did on ancient DNA. Now, since that time, there's been a paper on DNA from the Mycenaean Greeks and the Minoans, and a very pathetic paper on DNA extracted from the vast Neolithic site of Çelahayuk in south central Turkey. The sample and sample size was so lopsided from Çelahayuk that I took it as a personal offense. I don't even think I commented about the paper on Facebook. So, why have I stopped making these videos? Because it's become obvious to me that somebody or some group of people in the DNA research community hates men like me with the J2A Y chromosome. It's the only thing I can think of. These gaps keep showing up. I, had, I commented on the video for Hero and I commented on the videos leading up to that. So if I'm not going to get any fair play on these people, I've stopped, wait, stopped wasting my time on their papers. Now a new DNA paper on the ancient Romans has been released, and I see that the trend continues. But in this case, I must respond to that paper because it hits at the heart of my case. Now just to set you up, I believe that my ancestors were the Romans. And as I've said in several of, it, several of my videos, we are not from the steppes of Russia. We are from Anatolia, South Central Turkey. But everyone else insists the Romans came from the steppes of Russia, including the authors of this paper. And in service of that position, they misrepresent their already lopsided data. I'm pulling my case from the supplementary material for the paper Ancient Rome, A Genetic Crossroads of, European, of Europe and the Mediterranean. I will grant you, in the Iron Age and leading up to the Empire, men with provable ancestry from the steppes of Russia suddenly pop up all over central Italy. Nobody knows when they showed up. I was surprised by that. I didn't think they showed up until much later. The other shock of this paper is there are no men with a J2A among their samples. I now believe those samples were suppressed. Here, the people in the gar darker green are, as a general rule, the Romans. And the guys in the darker blue, again as a general rule, would be men with the steppe ancestry. Obviously, with all rules, there are exceptions. The man on the far left is not from the steppes of Russia, the man in blue. And I would also add we weren't the only men who later became known as the Romans. Other men migrated up and down the Balkan Peninsula and through the Mediterranean along with us. But when I line up the Iron Age internment sites by age, an obvious pattern emerges. The men with the steppe ancestry are not Romans. They are Etruscans, which means they probably did not even speak an Indo-European language, much less Italic. However, the man in the middle of the list from Ardea, here sample R850 and with a T1A1 Y chromosome, probably was a Roman, and in the bottom in red, sample R437, who's closer to the southern Italians, I note that, obviously had an Etruscan father and a Roman mother, because he has the Y chromosome. As you can see at a glance, there are two completely different populations lurking around central Italy. You can see sample 437, R437 straddling between the two groups. R850 is below him and to the right, securely within that second group. But with those one and a half exceptions, none of that second population shows up among their samples. Sample 475, R475 on the graph on the left, is apparently a woman who immigrated from Turkey. And the man on the right in the center, the blue dot number one, is an Iron Age Liburnian. So he either immigrated from the Balkan Peninsula or his parents did. And his people were certainly not Romans, which is why he, like the woman 475, is such an obvious outlier. Now, when this paper first came out, I was in shock. How could I have been so wrong about something so fundamental? Mostly because I believe in a lot of crazy things that I'm likewise very, very sure about. What else have I gotten wrong? Yes, I sometimes get details wrong. Recently, spectacularly so, because I didn't vet my sources very carefully. In fact, alongside this video, I'm releasing another where I have to make amends for a big mistake in my video, Libra, part of my Boot Camp for Saints video series. But whereas before I was in shock, now I'm really annoyed, mostly with myself. How could I have taken these people at their word again? Surely that is another lesson learned.